got ourselves a few more encounters to go. A couple more alien menaces. Now, personally, I think despite the uh, the graphics being a li uh, quite quite blocky and very heavily compressed, I mean, you you, you can see uh, how, how heavily they've had had to compress all this footage to get it onto the CD. But despite all that, I, I think this game holds up incredibly well from a... Yeah, get out of here, birds! Get out of here! It's my corpse! Which didn't explode. Ugh. Nice. You know what, let, let, let's not bother the birds further. Uh, we need to head out at... Six... Uh, well, that's not helpful. <laughs> my map says... We'll see. It, it, it wants, my map wants me to go back this way, so let's go this way. And if, uh, if it's the wrong way, then, well, you'll... yeah. Uh, so yes, I, th I, th I think the game holds up very well from a... Shoot, shoot. Bird, 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 bird. What are you doing? Quit flying around. What the hell's this bird doing? It's just spinning in circles. <laughs> Stupid bird. Uh. <sighs> Sorry. This this game holds up incredibly well from a, a, a gameplay. You know the sound is good. In if, if there was a, a HD remake for this, maybe adding on a, a bit more variety to the corridors, maybe some more levels, because the, the game is comparatively short for uh, you know for a, a game of of this time. But uh, if if there was an HD remake of this, I think they could do uh, do real good. Because really, all all it needs is a bit of a makeover. The creature design is good. The level, as I said, the level design just just needs a bit a bit more uh, stimulating environment-wise. But you know, the, these barren, fleshy corridors. You know, you, you could just imagine with modern graphics, you'd have all sort of wriggling, pulsing veins. And, uh, it makes me feel bad just thinking about it. All right, what's through here? Ah, yes, yeah, this door. Now, see, if you think one blue worm is bad enough, yeah, one blue worm is nothing. Here comes the badass action pose. One blue worm is nothing. Absolutely nothing. I hate blue worms. Gotta take them out, man. Gotta take them out and make them drop to the ground. Gotta shoot them all. Pokemon. Before they reach you. You gotta stop them before they wriggle across the floor to you, you know? Gotta drop them down. They fire three fireballs, which is horribly unfair, you know? Ow. Oh, that's going over the face. Alright, these, these things are just uh, kicking my ass. You know, I'm not quite, I'm not certain, but I don't think that smart bomb I just hit actually did anything. No matter, we're almost there. Just a couple more encounters and then we will be at the end. Life sign meter dropping down, nice and easy. Head on through here. One smart bomb left. I'll uh, use it on the last boss. What do we need? We need to. Uh, if we if we could go to the left, we'll go straight to the final boss. But there is uh, one more encounter we want to do before we get there. And this is one of those ones that can instantly kill you, but as long as you're paying attention, should not be an issue. As you see, the life sign meter is uh, cropping up. And so we shall start worming our way toward the final boss. Take a left down here. And we should get a little cutscene. Yep. Oh, I heard that laugh. Where did that laugh come from? Uh-oh. Oh, hell no. This ain't good. It's behind you, man. If you don't turn around in time, this thing kills you. It grabs you from behind and carries you up into the ceiling. But because I turned around in time, it is instead going to dangle its wang right in my face. Mistake! Yeah. When you hold your wang that close to my face, it's gonna get shot in the worst possible way. They even give you the option to look at the corpse, which is quite nice. But, with no further ado, we have final monsters to take 
care of. And hopefully find oh yeah, w one more worm just to say goodbye. And hopefully, at the same time, we'll complete our objective and grab the black box that we came here to retrieve. Huh. Well, if this doesn't look like an arena, I don't know what does. Uh oh, he's seen something. He's got his gun. Oh, hey, it's uh, the captain with full definition of every part of her command. Come on, even in these blocky textures, that still looks good, right? Hey, baby, I come here to rescue you. You know how many aliens I killed to get here? Girl, yeah, get... Aww. Aww, hey, aww, it's always the cute ones. Uh, she was probably a lesbian anyway. Which is awesome. Oh, hey. I better start shooting. I better start shooting. Oh, ah, I didn't quite shield fast enough that time. Oh, here comes the horn. Do you ever have this problem where the girl gives you the horn? Double attack. Yeah, it needs to let my gun recharge a bit. I've been spamming the fire a bit too much. Let it get to about 100. There we go. You'd think being shot in the eye would sting a little more. Ow. Look at those teeth. At, at risk of repeating myself from my previous Let's Play, that is one white smile. I mean, it still has to be said. You must floss or something. And <laughs> do I detect a hint of minty freshness? Oh, sorry. I repeated myself. Ah, uh, shoot you in the eye. You know, you'd think these guys would uh, get shields like me. Because, you know, they, they, these guys... Actually, I, okay, I, I suppose they do have the advantage that you can... Oh, ah, sorry, I was talking too much. They have the advantage of uh, having to be shot in a particular place, whereas they can just make an attack that hurts me. But seriously, guys, shields. Really useful. I'm sure the Amazon must have carried something that you could have adapted with your biogeneticism. Say goodnight, princess. Goodnight, princess! No, you cannot defeat Satan. Yeah, I'd still do her. Oh, hello. I'd still do her. Now, oh, come on, man, that's the oldest trick in the book. Oops, see the thing. Oh, well, I poked it with my gun. I guess it's dead. <laughs> yeah. Taking her back to my ship. Copping a little feel there. I see that. Oh, yeah. Yep, you know. Oh, okay. I was about to say, never mind the uh, cor corridors of hideous monsters between here and there and the great big doors that were closed, but apparently they've opened. And, uh, well, there's the ship. You know, if this was alien, there'd been alien on board my ship. This could be bad. Thankfully, this game isn't quite that deep, and, uh, well, it doesn't carry plot points quite that, um... But yeah, lock your ship, man. Yeah, apparently I had some, some sort of medical unit. That's quite convenient. I guess from the beeping, she's still alive. And still looking wonderful, you know? Hey, 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 careful with that helmet. That thing saved your life more than once. You probably got bite marks all over it. <laughs> you like that side boob? We shouldn't, because that's my side boob. Oh, uh, here comes Admiral Cone Egghead with this huge-ass microphone that he probably uses to, uh, well, do Skype and voice chat and stuff. What do you think I was going to say? Hey, keep your mitts off her. She's mine, man. I saw her first. Whoa, hey, hit, whoa. Oh. Oh, look at that grin. Oh, man, this is this is the day this guy's been waiting for. This is his hugging Dr. Cox moment, you know? He's been waiting to shake Eggman's hand for just forever, you know? Well, let's look at some statistics. 719 shots fired, 20% were on target, which isn't bad, right? And uh, 36 minutes and 2 seconds to complete. 
Wow. I'm probably going to have uh, broken that down into, into two episodes for, uh, you know, uh, not, not so they're not too hideously long. So, when we come to the next episode, we're going to do the next on rail segment, where we fly our way to Tethys. So until then, I'm Arthur Mem, and that was Creature Shock, most likely episode 3 of Creature Shock, where we killed ourselves a big-ass demon girl. And I'd still do her. <laughs>